Good morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. I had a number of subscribers who are thinking about renting an excavator or using an excavator for the first time, and they'd ask me if I would kindly provide a segment of unedited footage from my trail clearing. So we've got 10 minutes here, and I'll try to tell you what it is I'm doing. And remember, I'm a beginner and I'm learning. I think this is day three. Where you see the logo showing up is where I'm clearing the trail through. So that's the direction I'm going. But what I have here is I have this big old growth pine tree that I guess was taken down, I don't know, some years ago by a windstorm. And as you can probably tell in a minute, I already sawed off the trunk from the stump, as well as did a small six foot piece there. And I'm gonna to try to get this out of the way. As you learn, the thumb is pretty powerful and you, you're trying to gauge the pressure of how much pressure to put on that thumb when you're picking something up. And as you can see here, I didn't put enough pressure on it, so it fell as I was lifting it. The challenge in the forest is a lot of this stuff is dead standing or it's dead on the ground and rotted. So when you put too much pressure on the thumb, it literally crushes the tree and it falls into pieces. So I've got it good this time. If you take a look directly beside the right side of the bucket, you'll see there's one of my survey stakes. That's the east side boundary of my property. So I'm right at the edge here. And what I'm trying to do is clear all this debris and the stump, etc., out of there. Sad thing about not having the trails until now is although the impetus for doing these trails was to make walking trails for my wife and my daughters, I've never been able to access the property. And here's a great example of kind of a shame or a waste. This was a gorgeous, probably 60, 70 foot pine tree. Nice big 12 to 14 inch diameter trunk at the base. And as you can see, it's straight as an arrow. And unfortunately, it's been down so long, it's, although it looks really nice on film, the woods could be already become punky and started to rot. And had I had these trails or the access to be able to come back and get this years ago when it fell, I'm sure Guy would have loved to come back here. We would have bucked it into probably 10 foot lengths and dragged it back to his wood mill and he would have got a whole lot of pine lumber out of it. But unfortunately it's wasted now. Right now I'm just going in for another big chunk of the root. Look at the size of that root. You'll probably notice throughout the video, I still, I think here as of day three, I still try my best when I need to lift or dig, I try to reposition the machine as opposed to doing it from, you know, swinging out to the side, because I understand that the machine, and I felt the machine is far more stable when you're in parallel with the blade. So I try my best to stay parallel with the blade and I only swing out when I need to. I think if I remember, I'm going to try to grab this little bit of debris here and, and you'll see it's uh, <laughs> sometimes it's easier to just get out and hand bomb this stuff, as I'd mentioned before, because, you know, I'm not quite that delicate with the machine. So, you know, I tend to, you know, miss more than I grab sometimes. You're going to see in a moment as I continue to clear that you may not be able to tell uh, the grade from the camera view but the left side of this area is far higher than the right side and especially given that I've got this big huge hole to backfill from where the stump came out so I need to find a way to backfill it or, or dig out some fill and also try to reasonably level the left and the right side as I go forward okay. right now I'm backing up you can't see it too well but you'll see in a second I'm gonna drop the blade and I'm gonna try to push fill or soil towards that hole to try to start backfilling it. You'll see it right in front, it's starting to pile up. And I'm, there we go. When I'm using the blade in the forest, I don't drop the blade right down to the ground and push. I usually keep it a couple of inches up off the ground because I'm not trying to dig. I'm just trying to push the excess soil to wherever it is I need to fill. Kind of the same thing in reverse as you would do with a box blade on your tractor as you're starting to finish a grade. So I was successful here. I was able to get a bunch of loose dirt pushed up. Sometimes I can't because there's too many rocks or boulders, but this time I had a little bit of extra here. And if I remember, I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna start trying to scrape down the left side of this trail now to try to get it lower to kind of more match the right side. Yep, there we go. 
and I got a little more fill to push in towards that hole. I think I'm going to try unsuccessfully yep, to <laughs> get rid of that branch that fell off. Let's see if we can dig out. Listen for the sound. Here it comes. All right. See that little stutter? That's because there's a rock down below there. So I couldn't get much fill. I'm going to reposition forward. I'm going to push more of this loose soil towards my grade or the big hole from the stump. I drop my blade for stability and I've also now put myself closer to the next item that I want to pick up which is that six foot piece of pine. Jeez, it's a shame to lose that wood. I hope Guy's not watching. He'll be crying. <laughs> and now that I've moved myself closer I can now grab the stump and the debris again and push it even further away. Yes, I'm drinking coffee, if anybody's wondering what that sound is. Okay, and I'll use the back of the bucket to push a little bit. This excavator is a pretty good size for me, especially as a beginning machine. It has a 16-foot reach on it, and it's pretty powerful. Okay, take two. There we go. <laughs> okay, and I believe now I'll reposition and I'll start trying to do more grading and backfilling here. Oh, there's a tiny little sapling stump there right in the middle of the trail I needed to take out. You don't want to leave those short pointies sticking up. Your tractor tires might not like it. Into the hole it goes. I'll probably reposition now so I can dig and spread into this area that I'm currently sitting in. Up blade. Okay. And I'm going to push first with the blade means I should back up now. Yep. And you can sort of tell now on the left side, you can see how much I dug out or I had to dig out to try to get the overall trail reasonably flat. I've dropped the blades for stability and now I'm going to continue. We're looking directly through where I'm clearing the, the trail now. sure if that helped but hey this I learned to do from some videos I watched and I actually learned the hard way over the first couple of days right now I'm using the bottom of the bucket I'm trying to keep it uh, parallel to the ground and I'm trying to tamp it down basically with the weight or the strength of the excavator the soil here in the forest is so loamy and soft and silty that what I've learned is if you just backfill a hole and it looks reasonably level and then I start to drive forward with the excavator I've had a couple of, you know, scary moments, so to speak, where I start to drive over it and the left or the right side of the excavator begins to tilt because it's, it's driving through the soft, fluffy loam. So I've learned that before I go forward after backfilling or trying to level it out from digging, you know, the left or the right side over, I tamp the whole area down first because that way I'll see where the hard spots are or where the soft spots are and that way I can tell if I need more fill on one side or the other then I just grab some more and I tamp it again and then I feel reasonably confident that I can now drive forward and continue clearing trails. Okay. Do a little more tamping here. I drop the blade down for stability again reach out. I try to level the bottom with the ground so you'll see I'm bringing the stick in or out and I'm lifting the boom up or down until I sort of think I'm flat to push down on the ground. 
to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but you know, you watch videos, you pick up what you can. Okay. And now I'll probably pick up, straighten up with the blade, and I'll turn around and I'll start continuing forward now to continue to clear the next section. I hope it's been helpful for those that asked. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers.